We are learning more about some of the policy plans from Vice President Kamala Harris and her running mate Governor Tim Walz after the pair sat down for their first interview with CNN. The Democratic nominees discussed their platform during yesterday's interview, everything from cutting consumer costs to immigration and the southern border. Harris says she wants a $6,000 tax credit for new babies and a $25,000 tax credit for first-time home buyers. She also defended some of the changes in her policy position, positions since she last ran for president back in 2019. Harris says while she still believes in climate action, she would not ban fracking if elected president. She also clarified her position on illegal border crossings, now saying there should be consequences. We have laws that have to be followed and enforced. I spent two terms as the Attorney General of California prosecuting transnational criminal organizations. Former President Donald Trump took the opportunity to slam Harris following the interview, saying her values when it comes to policy are too far to the left. He also criticized her for not implementing the policies she's proposing now while she was part of the Biden administration. Trump, meanwhile, is shifting his own position on reproductive rights, proposing at a Wisconsin town hall that if he was elected, he would have the governor pay for IFE or mandate insurance companies to do so.